Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss the question, the solution on the question strong longest zigzag path in a binary tree. So what this question is saying is, let's consider we are having a binary tree. We know the property of binary tree that a node can have at the most two childs or zero childs. Okay, or zero childs like they can have minimum of zero childs. It can have one child. Or at most it can have two child. We know this property, right? Now, let's say this is a binary tree given to us. Something like this. Okay. And at the right side, there is something like this. So, what this question is asking is, this question is uh, asking this question is demanding that we have to return if, if we, this is the main root node we have to return the maximum zigzag path uh, the maximum zigzag path that is available in this binary tree so what is the zigzag path let me tell you if I take a if I if I travel to left child then I have to travel to right child then I have to travel to left child right and left what I am saying is the zigzag path is nothing but if I start from left call that is if I go to left child if I go to left child then I have to go to right child okay to, to have the uh, zigzag path I have to go to right child and then similarly I have to go left and let's uh, and similarly I have to just go on if I go to right child that is if I go to right child then I have to compulsory go to the left child to get the zigzag path and then again right and similarly this will be this will keep going on so with this i hope the question is clear to you all we have to just return the maximum zigzag path so the maximum zigzag path uh, or the longest zigzag path can be in the left subtree or can be in the right subtree right this these are two possibilities if this is this is the question then what will be my faith and expectation my faith and expectation will be that if i am if i'll just call this slash that is the left call or left if i travel to left left child then i am call, uh, going to call it as forward slash and if i am going to uh, travel to right child then i am going to call it as a backward slash okay so what is my faith going to be my faith is going to be that if uh, if if i am at this position then i am going to ask my left child that give me the longest zigzag path from your family and similarly i am going to ask to my right child that give me your longest zigzag path from your family and i am going to compare both of you and wherever i find the maximum zigzag path that is the longest zigzag path i am going to uh, get included with, with that child that means if i am currently standing here and if i found the long, uh, if i get the longest zigzag path from left left subtree that is by making forward slash then uh, sorry not forward slash but if i get the maximum zigzag path from the left subtree then obviously to go to the left uh, left subtree or go to the left side i had to make a forward slash right i had to make a forward slash so i am saying that if i am the parent and i am getting the longest zigzag path from right slash which means if 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 the answer that i am getting is right here if if the maximum zigzag path uh, in the both the trees first if it is coming with this this backward slash if uh, the maximum zigzag path that we are going uh, we are getting is coming with backward slash then obviously to go to the backward slash I had to first take a forward slash so I am saying that I had to make a forward slash right therefore this backward slash answer is lying where is lying at the left subtree of the root node right so which this means that if i am getting my answer from the backward slash that is maximum zigzag path if i am getting my maximum zigzag path or longest zigzag path using a backward slash then the final answer is going to lie at the left subtree because to make the back uh, to get the uh, to go to the backward slash first i have to make a forward slash right similarly if I am getting my answer from forward slash, okay. If I am getting my answer from forward slash, forward slash, 
then to go to the forward slash i had to take a i had to make a backward slash right if, if this was my root node then first i have to make a backward slash then i will be getting my answer from forward slash so with this uh, i hope this is clear that if i am getting my answer uh, answer from backward slash then the answer is lying in the left subtree because to go to the backward slash this is i have to make if i am getting this answer sorry if i am getting this answer as in backward slash this is my backward slash so to go to the backward slash i had to first make a forward slash then i, I was able to uh, get the answer in the backward slash similarly uh, if i am going uh, if i am getting my answer from the forward slash then i have to make first backward slash call then i'll be getting my answer so this means that this this means nothing but i have to find the answer keeping root node as the head i have to find the maximum zigzag path so first what i'll check i got an answer from backward slash i got an answer from uh, forward slash that is i got an answer from uh, left subtree i got an answer from right subtree now what i'll check as being the root node i'll say that if i keep myself as a head if i i am the head of this whole zigzag path then i'll check if i include myself in this zigzag path then what will be the maximum path or uh, uh, is it going to make any change like for example for example i say if i first i got a zigzag path like this okay now i will keep it I, i'll be the root uh, i'll be the head of this family head of this longest zigzag path and i'll see if i am first first uh, let's say uh, sorry i'll explain myself again if let's say i am getting a longest zigzag path from right side okay from let's say from left side i am getting of length 7 and from right side i am getting longest zigzag path of length 8 what i will do as being the root node what i will do i will first keep myself as the family uh, uh, head of the family and i'll check if i add myself to the left side what will be the answer going to come so if i if i become the head the answer is going to come what the answer is going to be 7 and this one that is 7 plus 1 it is going to be 8 okay now i'll check if i be the head of the family head of the longest zigzag path and that longest zigzag path is coming from the right subtree that is by making the backward slash then what is going to be the answer it is going to be 8 and its own that is 8 plus 1 it is going to be 9 so with this i am going to check the maximum answer that keeping myself as the head i'll check that what will the maximum of both those uh, both the paths and i am going to return that path so that is going to be my answer now now if we are clear with the, uh, till this point then there is a twist in this question okay what is that twist that twist is saying that that twists twist is saying that let's say I'll, I'll copy this thing this twist is saying that First, I have checked what I have kept myself root node as a head. That means I have included the root node and I have checked that at which part I am getting the longest zigzag path. But now the twist is saying that the twist is saying that there might be a possibility. There might be a possibility that let's say that uh, let's say we got to the right side. Okay, we got uh, we made a right call. Then we found the longest zigzag path or we found a zigzag path at the left part that is we are going right left right left okay so this is a valid uh, valid zigzag path like this the twist is saying there might be a possible answer where the root node is not included what this means this means that there might be a possible answer where the longest zigzag path is present at this point okay the longest zigzag path is pre present at this point there might be a possibility or or there might be a possibility that the longest zigzag path is present at this point okay so this is the twist what this twist is telling us that 
uh, this twist is saying that first the question uh, till half was this that if i include myself that is the root if if the root root include itself it has to find the longest zigzag path from right side or from left left side and it has to return uh, return the value which means that if i am the head and i am uh, having a longest zigzag path uh, uh, that is going to be a fi uh, that is going to be my uh, going to be my final answer but the twist says that there might be a possibility in the left side in the left side at some node where i was not able to reach by keeping myself as the head if i keep this root node as the head will i be able to go to this point is there any possibility that i'll be able to include this this node as in uh, as in the answer of the longest zigzag path no there is no possibility why because first i am going to left then i have to go to right i cannot go to left left okay therefore there uh, if i keep root node as the head of this uh, longest zigzag path there is no no possible way to go to this path so i hope the question was clear uh, the second part of the question was clear that uh, the longest zigzag path can be present at any point so i have to i have to check what i have to check three things what are those th three things first i have to check that if i keep myself as the head of the longest zigzag path coming from the backslash or coming from the forward slash that is coming from the left part coming from the left part keeping myself as the head i have to check that keeping myself at, uh, as the head i have to check the longest zigzag path from right side and i have to check that if there is any any longest zigzag path not keeping myself as head but keeping some another node as a head is there any longest zigzag path present in the right side or longest zigzag path present in the left side so this is what we are asking okay so i hope that i was able to make myself clear so the answer can possibly lie at this part or at this part or at the particular position where i am keeping root node or i am including root node in the longest zigzag path after just for case if if i include uh, this and the longest zigzag path was present at this point then the longest the, our answer is going to be this right but what if this was not here then our answer let's say it was something like this then our answer was this okay so i hope that i was able to make myself clear that what is this twist so now we are going to see that how we are going to solve this question what will be the approach now what we can say that if we are having this diagram okay if we are having this diagram first i'll ask the root node i'll tell the root node or i'll uh, as keeping myself as the head or say i am currently standing at the root node okay i am currently standing at the root node what i'll say to my right child i am telling or, or let's say not the right child from here uh, if i if i have a faith that this left subtree left subtree and this right subtree this right subtree has, is bringing some answer okay some answer let's say 7 and this right uh, right subtree is bringing answer some let's say 8 this is bringing the answer from where this is the uh, bringing the answer using what using forward slash okay it is going to use forward slash and this is bringing the answer using backward slash now i'll say that if i'm standing at the root node the root node will say will say that first i'll include or i'll keep myself as head and i'll include or i'll first pair up with my backward slash oh sorry forward slash that is first right side and i'll see that what is the answer i am going to make that is i am going to add my one so this is going to be nine so what this actually is telling me that if i want to pair up with my right child if i want to pair up with the answer that my right child has brought to me then i have to make what i have to make a backward slash right i have to make a backward slash this is clear that this means that if answer is coming in from this way answer is coming uh, answer uh, the final answer that is uh, coming from the recursive function is coming from forward slash then i have to just add my backward slash that is to reach that forward slash i am going to use my backward slash therefore this is telling me that if i am able to make 
uh, if I am going to make this, I, I have to check that if keeping myself as head, I have to check that if I am going to make a longest zigzag path using my uh, using my right child. Similarly, I am going to check if I am going to make the longest zigzag path using a forward slash. That is, if I am going to make a longest zigzag path using my left child. There is the two things I have to check. I have to check. Obviously, I have to take the maximum of these two, right? And the third thing I have to check is if there is any another maximum path or longest exact path available or available or not. So what I am going to ask my left child and right child. I am first telling my right child and left child both the child that you bring the longest zigzag path. Okay, longest zigzag path, but keeping me as the head. So what I am saying is that. Uh, if if I'm the head of the family, if the root node is the head of the family, then obviously the right child has to bring the answer that is going to start or let's say that is going to end with the forward slash. Okay, that is going to end with the forward slash. The right right child has to consider this thing. If I am keeping root node as the head node, this is the head node. Then I have to bring the right child has to bring the answer for ending with the forward slash. Similarly. The left child has to consider this thing, has to keep this thing in mind that if I want to keep this this node, this root node as the head node, then I have to bring the answer that is going to end with the backward slash. Okay, because obviously, if the root node, uh, if the if the left child brings the answer that is ending with the backward slash, then only he can consider or he can make this root node as the head of this family, head of this longest zigzag path. So these two things has to be very clear that uh, uh, to be the head, I have to first get backward slash of the left. Then I'll go to backward slash using forward slash and similarly on this side. Now these things, uh, these are the two things that I'm, uh, this root node is going to ask to its left child and right child. There is another thing that is this root node going to ask to their uh, ask to its left child and right child. What it is going to ask? It is going to ask that don't consider me as the head you have the free will just bring me the longest zigzag path let it be starting from any point any any node but that has to be in 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 your uh, side that is if this is the root node it will say that hey left bring the longest zigzag path don't consider me as the head of that zigzag path but bring the longest zigzag path from your family and similarly to right hey right bring the longest zigzag path from your family don't consider me as the head and I'll I'll do what first I'll pair pair myself with you that is I'll pair myself with the uh, longest zigzag path that you had bring considering me as the head and I'll compare between your longest zigzag path your family's longest zigzag path and me as the head of this zigzag path I'll compare both those paths and I'll see which is the maximum if I am the maximum if considering me as the maximum uh, considering me as the head node uh, I'm getting the maximum uh, longest zigzag path, then I'm going to return that. Otherwise, I'll return the maximum zigzag path that your family is having, but not considering me as a head. So this is so these are our uh, the, this is going to be our fate and expectation. And this this thing is going to solve a problem. So I hope the uh, I hope uh, this explanation was clear to you all. Let's let's try to code this and after coding, uh, we'll get a more insight to this uh, question. Now while coding what we have discussed we discussed that we need three values that is uh, the answer that is being formed using the forward slash the answer that is being formed using the backward slash and the maximum maximum length of the zigzag path in the right subtree or let it be in the uh, left subtree okay so for this we are going to make a pair so pair class Here. this is going to contain what this is going to contain int forward that is going to be minus one initially int backward that is going to contain minus one initially and int max length that is going to be zero okay now we are going to make a make our main class that where we are going to perform the operations so that is going to be a pair class public 
static there let's say it's long as exact part and we are going to pass here what we are going to pass here root value so this is going to be a tree node kind of thing tree node data type and will be passed here okay now now what we are going to do first we are going to make calls so i made a call to left subtree that is i am making call to my left subtree so left top right root dot left similarly a call to right right child will also be made okay now what we are going to do we are going to store this in a pair let's say my answer that is going to be a new pair and we are going to store answer here in this pair now while storing the answer what are the th three things we are going to store first let's let's store the simple simple values that is my answer dot say forward what is going to be the my answers that is the answer i am currently having what is going uh, what i am going to store in the forward slash uh, forward slash part or the that forward thing part what i am trying to say is if i am having an answer i i am i'm uh, i'm the root node okay and i want to store something in this forward slash thing okay i have to store the answer or i have to attach myself my forward slash to some answer then what where that answer is going to be present that answer is going to be present in the left side because i am making the forward slash that is answer is going to be present in the left side but at which part of the left side it is going to be present at the right part that is the backslash or back backward part what i am trying to say here if i take a forward slash call then my answer is that the answer that i am going to get is going to be a backward slash the answer i am going to get is uh, that that will be starting from a backward slash and that backward slash is going to be at the power right side so here to get the forward what i have what i am saying that to get the forward if, if to get the forward i have to go to the left side so i am going to the left side what i am saying again i will try to explain myself i think i was not able to clear myself what i am saying that if i am the root node i take a forward slash that is i go to left subtree then where i am going to find my answer i am going to find my answer starting with this oh sorry this forwards backward slash right so for uh, just understand this that if i make a left call that i am going then i am going to get my answer at the backward slash and backward slash of what backward slash of left so this is what i am going to store here that that is what i am i was trying to explain that the answer will be at left of backward and plus one why plus one i took a call i i i, I wanted to go there so i had to make one call therefore i i'm going to add my one okay similarly for the backward where is my answer going to lie my answer is going to lie at the right of forward let's see this also if i am the root node and if i want to check what what, what is the answer uh, at where i want to store something in my backward call that is my uh, if i am taking a backward slash that is i am going to the right side then where is my answer going to lie my answer is going to lie at the rights or uh, at the uh, forward slash of the right part okay forward slash of the right part so therefore i am storing forward slash of the right part now for the main thing i have stored this th these two things now for the main thing that is my answers max length what is going to be the max length of my answer 
the answer that is going to be uh, the max length is nothing but first i am keeping myself as the root node that is i am the head of this family so what is going to be my answer if i take a forward slash the answer is going to lie at the backward slash and if i take the forward backward slash the answer is going to lie at the forward slash the same things we have done here so first i have to check maximum of these two math dot max of i'll say first if i make if i make a forward slash then answer is going to where like answer is going to lie at the backward slash of left so backward and if i take the right then the answer is going to lie at forward and plus one okay but this is is this going to be my final answer no this this is not my final answer actually why this is not the final answer because i am ch just checking here that if i am the uh, head node of the longest exact path that i am getting from the left side and the right side then what will be the answer i am saying that i am the root node i am the head node and i am going to get some answer from here and some answer from here i am just checking that what is the maximum of these two as keeping me head but there is the possibility that as we have discussed that there is the possibility that the answer might be might be present at the right subtree or in the family of the left subtree but not keeping root as the node or head node so we have to check for that also what we are going to do then we are going to use another mat.max and this mat.max is going to be a comparison between whom a comparison between left's max length huh? right's max length that is the maximum length of a zigzag path that is present in their family but not keeping root node as the head of that zigzag path so i have to take the maximum of these two right so with this i'll use on another mat.max okay so with this now what will be our base case now let's think about the base case we know that our base case is going to be similar that is if we encounter a null root or if we encounter a null node then what we have to do we have to just return a new pair okay this is also done now finally what we have to return we have to return our answer okay now how we are going to make a call to this function make a call to this function what we are going to do we are going to first make an answer pair and we are going to make a call to this function this is the same function okay so what we are going to pass here we are going to pass nothing but our root and that's it and while returning we are going to return answer dot max length and with this we are done with the code let's try to run this code uh, there is an error new pair it was expecting something let's see so yes we forgot to give these things now let's try to run this code public static pair expected identifier oh yes this is going to be a class now it's going okay public static int the tree is already defined okay we have to give some another name mm, let's give it name as solution yes let's just add this solution here 
Beispiel. Okay, now let's run this code. And this is getting a this is giving this a correct answer. Let's try to submit this code. And all the test cases are passing. So I hope with this you are able to understand that what I, I was trying to say and what this solution is actually doing. So thank you for this video. Let's meet in the next video.